Hey man, it's the ISO guy sensei, the greatest nigga on 2K in existence. And listen up, man, I'm finna show y'all the best seven jump shots in 2K. Very top tier, S tier jump shots. And I'm gonna show you right at the beginning, man. I'm gonna explain it to you in detail every single jump shot. So make sure y'all drop a like since I'm showing you in the start. Subscribe if you are new and turn on them damn post notices. And listen, you're gonna wanna watch at least the first half of this vid and it will change your shooting completely. No matter your best shooting, badges too, bro, okay? So look, first jump shot I'm showing y'all, man, is between 6'5 and 6'10, which a lot of builds are. Um, Jason Tatum, you know, if you're struggling, give this a chance. You got that high time and impact. I see a lot of people, they don't have a high time and impact. That is the sniper from last year, the flexible releaser sniper, whatever it is. That's what that grade means. I don't think a lot of people know about that, man. But um, try this jump shot out, man. You feel me? You see, he pulls it back a little, and then you're gonna wanna let that hole go. Like as soon as it get up, and it, it's a, it like it go up like backwards, and yeah, and then it'll be green every time, man. Okay, now look, people message me this jump shot, man. I wouldn't personally use it, uh, you know, that weirdo, man. You know his. <laughs> You know, but hey, they say this jump shot butter. As you can see in the grades, it, it looked pretty crazy, man. Uh, the defensive immunity, which is your contest shooting, it's an A plus. Time and impact is good. Release speed is good, man. You know, it's pretty decent. It, it ain't an A plus, but it's pretty decent. Good spot up, you know. Good, you know. Maybe even main ball handler shot, you know. Test it out, man. I'm helping y'all out, man. Here goes another amazing jump shot, bro. A lot of comp people recommend this jump shot for spot ups, but even point guards are using this jump shot and they, they say it's it's super cash, man. Even with the low time and impact, I guess that's just like, you know, no sniper effect. So it could help you out if it took too much to explain, but you see, you got the high defensive immunity. You can make it through contest. You got a decent release speed. Everyone's leaving everyone open currently, bro. So it's like, if you can shoot, and it's gonna be like this all year, cause people couldn't shoot last year in the easiest 2K and 2K22. So bro, all you gotta do is hit your shot, especially if you're not playing comp, which 99% of y'all will never play comp like that, like consistently. So you have to find shots to hit, you know, your shot and to hit contested. People are, and th this is for bigger builds too. This O'Shea, I, I'm, this is what I've heard. They say you can use this all the way up to seven three heights. And um, you can put like on the Tim Duncan release or something. Uh, I don't know the releases exactly because I don't have a build like that. But hey, also down below, put your jump shots, you know, help everybody out, man. Help, help people, you know, help people have fun. <laughs> 2K makes it hard to have fun. You know, help, help out your fellow brethren, man. I know y'all y'all look at them as the enemy, man, but look, if they don't know what you know, are you really, you wanna have mental advantage over people? Come on, man, test yourself. But um, this O'Shea is good. I'm hearing it's good for big spot ups, big builds in general. Um, it is very easy to time. A lot of the comp people, like, you know, the league players, stage players, they're saying they're using this on their big, uh, poppers etc and for guards too. T test it out man. we got a kevin durant release right here you know th this <laughs> a plus release height i don't think that really matters we got the a plus release speed the a minus defensive immunity and the high timing and test this out if you are struggling man and for some reason them jump shots for them little guards i'm not gonna have none of those in this video but you know the curry base you know all the general jump shots i have past jump shots where i put those in there but for some reason you can fade with those jump shots like way more bro it's it's, it's crazy it doesn't make sense like you you hit way more consistent than the big build of uh, fading jump shot get this vid to uh 2000 likes man and i'll drop the uh best pull-ups then we got the tobias man a lot of people use this not a lot of people but some people use this and look, you got the A, you got, you got, you got, you got the nice grades, man. Not all grades are the same. I know a lot of y'all don't know, but here's another shot to try out. If you are struggling, once a shot starts working with you, working for you, you know, test it, like stay with it, man. Unless you, you see something better out there, you know, play around, bro. 
Don't be a slave to one thing, but if you do switch too much, you're going to mess yourself up. Okay, look, here are the best shooting badges in general, bro. Okay, I don't have my shooting max on this build, but I'm going to just show y'all something. Agent 3s is the best badge for main ball handlers, okay? The best badge, okay? Bar none. It's not just fading. It's not just pull-ups, bro. It's stopping a uh, pop. It's everything. Every shot you take while like moving rhythm shooter, it's all combined into this badge. So if you are a main ball handler, put this shit on max. Bar none, bro. Okay? Um, even catch and shoot, when you're a main ball handler, you want this, bro. Because you can shoot it instantly. And like even with the fade shot, your catch and shoot's gonna pop up and the agent threes, and then you could catch them holes even more. Everyone is leaving everyone open, bro. Okay, like all levels, bro. Like, especially when they think you're like drained of adrenaline and all that. Catch and shoot, it, it changes your game completely, bro. Especially if you are bad, bro. Uh, amped, you know. Eh, you know, they, they say it reduces the penalty. It, it's, it's cool, bro. Um, and then Claymore, when you spot, when, you, when you're spotting up, you catch the ball and you wait and then you shoot. This is more for spot ups, but still, this is still a good thing for a main ball handler. You see, I got it low and then the volume shooter, I'm going to eventually max out because, you know, it helps with every shot, but limitless range. You don't even need, bro because of the limitless takeover. I'm gonna show you, bro. Look, I can keep shooting from half court with this badge, with the uh, with the damn near seven, seven, what, what was my three point? Like a 76-3, bro. I can shoot from half court just with this badge on single, like the single takeover. And you can shoot from everywhere. So you can save badge points without, um even having limitless on you know it's still a good badge is it works it's it's a great badge but if you have like accelerator and just limitless you can just hit from limitless so you can save badge points and be smart i got a bunch of clips bro of uh me hitting from limitless the dead eye uh, you know it, it ain't it ain't that it ain't it ain't what it used to be blinder same thing corner they say don't work some people say it do work green machine they say it activate after the third shot until I hear otherwise, so it's not really as needed. Guard up, some people say don't even work. Um, space creator, all dependent to your style and mini. But yeah, your main badges that you want as a main ball handler, Agent 3's amped, catch and shoot. And then you start to, you know, the volume shooter, then the claymore, and then everything else is all dependent on you. Now for a spot up, bro. You want catch and shoot max, claymore max. I don't I, I'm not I'm not too I don't I don't I don't know about guard up, bro. For a spot up, you could do something like this, bro. Really for a spot up, it's really like the same badges, bro. It, it really is cuz they say uh corner specialists don't work. It's really like the same badges, man. To be honest, now maybe uh, I don't know about this dead eye and blinders, bro. I don't know, bro. I, I haven't been made a believer. A lot of people make a lot of tweets and stuff, but I, I I just haven't seen it. You can shoot crabs. People think it's blinders. You can shoot crabs without blinders and it be OP. Like I don't think people are noticing a big difference from making it gold to uh, you know, I don't know, bro. Basically, between spot ups and um main ball handlers is you're just going to want to have clay more and catch and shoot more that's basically it bro to to keep it a hundred and of course these are going to be your main shit you know the catch and shoot and the clay more but you want to be able to fade and sometimes the game makes you fade so you want to have this badge on still this will be your third badge as a spot up that you will need and um, y'all yeah. be sure to follow me on Twitch, man. Link is in the description. Make sure y'all go to the gym eight days a week. Drink a gallon of water a day. And click on one of these two videos. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo.
Off the top of the dome, dome.